Hey, what up, gang? Matt here with your Wednesday Word. I want to talk to you quickly about something, and that is change. A lot of you guys and gals, I feel like from just certain emails and comments different that I've received, you're, you're not at the place in life that you would like to be, and you kind of want to know, what should I do? And one of the, I heard a motivational speaker talk about that you always got to remember you're not a tree you can move. It's a simple quote, but it's worth re reminding yourself. I'm not a tree. I can move. Things can change because you can change. Remember that. So say that in the morning. Look in the mirror when you're brushing your teeth, when you're taking a shower, whatever. Say things can change because I can change. Things can change because I can change. Whether it's your relationship with others, with God, um, like I said, your fitness, your finances, things can change. You are not stuck in your situation, whether it's a bad house, a, um, a bad environment at school, whatever it is, things can change. I've noticed this so much recently, um, just in the past couple weeks, my walk with the Lord just feels a lot um, a lot more... I want to say like in tune with what God wants me to do. And I've thought, what exactly has changed? And to be specific, it's prayer and more Bible study before I go to bed. It's having a, having a plan, really studying God's word before I go to bed and praying and asking God for directions. But one of the simple Bible verses I quote often is draw nine to God, he'll draw nine to thee. It's a simple verse, but it, it, it's worth a reminder you want to know how you can change, how you can have a better walk with God, how you can have a better walk with others. You you draw closer to God. So sometimes I think God tells me, I'm here. You just got to come closer to me. And as we come closer, we see the beauty and the greatness and the love and the mercy and kindness and grace and truth and faithfulness and all this of God. And we want to get closer and closer and closer. Um, it, it, it's crazy. I've told some of these stories on Snapchat, but even... There have been people in my life that I encounter kind of on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm not going to say I necessarily didn't like, but just had no relationship at all with. So it's not good or bad, it's just kind of nothing. And now, just a few weeks, month or so later, I'm really close with. And you say, well, what exactly changed? I changed. I went out and made, took the effort and stuck out a hand, gave a gift, gave a compliment, gave a word of encouragement, whatever. By me making that little change in my life, I now have close relationships with certain guys and gals that I didn't before. At the gym, at the workplace, at the, like I said, that I see out at church. And I'm thinking, I'm like, it's crazy how just sometimes, I've even taken one person in particular, somebody that I didn't really care for. If you said, do you like them? I'd kind of say, no, not really. I fuck they got a chip on the shoulder. And went up and gave them a compliment. So instead of being like, oh, man, I don't like you, I spun that around on his head, went over and complimented and encouraged that person, and now we're very close. So you say, what changed? Did they all of a sudden just like me and all this stuff? No. It's I encouraged them, and I, I let God work through me. And by doing that, it's like the old he who refreshes others refreshed himself. By doing that, they begin to like me, and all of a sudden, since I treated them better, they treat me better, and so forth, and the relationship starts. Um, but I, I thought I'd do this video there. My, my little guys are upstairs asleep, and I started thinking about this, about many of you all might be going through the same thing. You, you just want things to change. You're not a tree. You can change things. You can get closer to God starting this second you're watching this video. You can pray and say, God, I want to be closer to you. Show me direction. Let me get in your word. Say, for example, a good start is reading Proverbs, the chapter of that day. If it's the 13th, read Proverbs 13th, or the 18th, Proverbs 18th. Uh, read one chapter of the gospel a day. Take two or three times throughout your day and just stop in dead silence and pray and ask God for direction and clarity and wisdom and to speak truth in your life. Um, go around encouraging others. Uh, if you have any kind of finances or talents or anything that you can give a gift to someone, even if it might seem small to you and you can do it for others. All these little things, you can change 
instantly and so much around you will change. So let me challenge you with that. Things can change because you can change. That's your Wednesday word. Go check out selection.com and uh, follow me there on Snapchat. Guitar Teacher 44. That's my football number. I started using it for passwords and emails, all that. So I just roll with it. But anyway, hope you guys have a great day, great night, whenever you're watching this. And God bless you.